In today's tech tip, we're going to introduce PDF snapping. This is one of many new features in Vectorworks 2009 that a lot of users have been raving about. Here I have a blank document that I'm going to import a PDF document into. There are two methods that you can now use to import documents into Vectorworks. The traditional method is to go to File, Import, and select the file format that you would like to import then selecting the file. The second method, which is a new feature in Vectorworks 2009, is to drag and drop the file that you would like to import into your Vectorworks document. To do this, I'm just going to select a PDF file from my desktop, click and drag it into the drawing area of my Vectorworks document, and release my mouse. If it is a file format supported by your version of Vectorworks, then an import dialog box will appear. For this example, I'm going to accept the default import options and click import. Now that the PDF is imported into my document, I can move my cursor over certain points on the PDF and get various snap points indicated by the Vectorworks Smart Cursor. This new feature gives you the ability to get precise measurements if you need to dimension specific areas of the document. You can use the snap points to add additional data to the document, knowing that you are accurately snapping to points on the PDF. This saves time by not having to zoom in on the PDF to make sure you are snapping to the edge of an object. This also makes it easier to add objects from the resource browser by snapping to points and getting exact offset distances. I want to note, to take advantage of this new feature, the PDF must be created with a vector-based program such as Adobe Illustrator or other vector-based applications. If the PDF was created by scanning an image, it would still be able to be imported into Vectorworks, but it would not have the same snapping ability as a PDF created in a vector-based program.